It's time to leave Cuba. You've been great, but all things must come to an end. So I got one more meal here I get to eat. Uh, they're making me breakfast one more time, which is really nice of them. Um, it's like 6.30 in the morning or 6.15. And then after that, Ernesto's coming to pick me up and back to the airport. It's almost seven o'clock. Ernesto should be here any minute. Um, I just want to take this moment real quick while I have a private time to explain my trip. Um, at first, I was very nervous about coming to Cuba. I didn't know what to expect. And uh, now after being here for five days, I have to say these people are the most genuinely loving, wonderful people I've ever met in my life, in all my travels. I, they've been nothing but helpful, and even though there's a huge language barrier, like I don't speak Spanish, and a lot of them don't speak English, um, we still managed to make it work. Um, if I was to do it again, I would have brought a little bit more money, but honestly, like they say you should uh, leave Cuba broke, meaning like you should have no more money. Um, the tricky thing about out here is you need to plan ahead because you want to make sure that you have uh, enough money because there's no credit cards over here. You're not allowed to use credit cards or anything but cash. So cash is king. So make sure if you come out here, you bring enough cash. But um, aside from just that worry, um, it's been nothing but wonderful. So thank you, Cuba, for being nice and being wonderful and being beautiful and uh, showing us a great time. Anyways, um, I'm about to go to the airport and uh, I like this candle, man. Get ready to go home. Okay. Gracias, gracias. Gracias. Hey, buddy. What's up, buddy? Thank you for everything. Follow this guy on Instagram and also Facebook. I'm going to leave the links below. You guys need to talk to him if you ever want anything to know about Cuba. He will let you know everything. He's like the ambassador out here. So follow this guy. This is the taxi driver here. Best taxi driver. What's his name? Cuba. Enrique. Yeah. Enrique is the best taxi driver here, guys. Enrique has been driving us around too. Top so. car. Yeah. It's the Air 57. And you will enjoy it. Dude, I love you. See you, man. Take care. Thank you for everything. Take care, you, man. You have a good one, okay? So I checked my bags, got everything taken care of with that. About to get on the plane, B7. The terminal over here is a lot nicer than the terminal we came in on, but uh, anyways, uh, heading back home, I can't wait till I hear, I can't wait till I get through customs just because like that's the last bit of the trip. And then after that, I'm meeting a couple friends from, uh, from Arizona that are gonna be in Florida. I'm gonna spend a couple days with them and uh, go see Fantasy Fest, so. That's another thing you guys will be able to see. Hopefully you guys are liking these vlogs and enjoying the uh, Cuba trip. I enjoyed it, I had a great time. Cuba, I love you, you're amazing. I couldn't have picked a better group of people to come with or they couldn't have picked a better person with me. Like honestly, like this whole group worked together really well. Sometimes I've been on vacations where like you get like people who like fight and stuff like that. And this has been the most stress-free trip I've ever been on. Um, the only stress I've had is just like, how am I going to get back to the airport? Am I going to get a visa back? Or am I going to get my visa back? Kind of stuff like that. Like things that I shouldn't have had to worry about, but I just did because it was in the back of my mind and I've never done this trip before. But uh, I highly implore all of you guys to come out here and check it out for yourself. It's, I mean, this video is not going to do it any justice. It's going to show you a glimpse of what it was like, but nothing close to like what it was truly like. One last thing I wanted to point out is I came out here with about a thousand dollars or a thousand US, a uh, thousand euros and I'm literally leaving Cuba with one dollar. This is all I got left so Cuba it's been great. I'm glad you could take my money. It's a lot of fun but it has to end right now and I'm ready to be back home.
One quick thing I wanted to show you guys real quick before I'm out of here is the fact that they have pay phones right here at the airport. I haven't seen a pay phone in so long. Again, Cuba has been like a time travel. It's like going back in the 1960s. I, you're awesome, Cuba. I had made it in the concourse, so I'm good. All I gotta do is make it to V7, get on the plane, and I'm good to go. I left my hat back over there, so now I got it. Now we can leave Cuba. Let's get rescue, rescue, rescue. D31 down here? D? E. E31, no. Yeah. Where do I go? It's behind that wall over there. I get... You have to take the train. Oh, you. Oh, my God. I'm going to miss this. get some conch fritters or whatever and a margarita. I cannot wait. And some diving if I could. But if I'm diving I probably can't drink. But I'll probably go diving now. See the boy. 
pues oh my god this tastes so good <laughs> the sodas are good but man <laughs> nothing beats a glass bottle of coke i'll tell you that <laughs> So I'm officially here. Fantasy Fest has begun, and I ran into my friends Scott and Chris. Hello. Say hi. Hello. Wish you were here. Guys, thank you for watching. I'm probably gonna be done for the day. I made it here. I almost was late. Back from Cuba. That's it.